Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, how can data from two random samples be compared? So a random sample represents a part of a population or a whole group. We can make inferences or conclusions about the differences between the two populations based on their random samples. So let's look at this first one. It says Carl surveys every fifth customer leaving two different self-serve cereal shops. She asks customers how much they spend on a single cereal bowl. The first question says, what is the difference in the median for the cost of a single bowl of cereal purchased at shop A and a single bowl of cereal purchased at shop B? So let's find their medians. Shop A, it looks like their median is 6.5 or 6.50. And then shop B, it looks like their median is $6 exactly. So to find the difference in those, I would subtract 650 minus six and I get 50 cents. So their difference is at 50 cents. Okay, let's look at number two. It says, how do the interquartile ranges differ for the cost at the two different cereal shops? So I need to find the IQR of both of these. Let's start with shop A. Q3 for shop A is 8.5 and Q1 is 5.5. So I would do 8.5 minus 5.5, which is three. That's the IQR for shop A. Now let's find shop B. Q3 for shop B is 7.5 and five for Q1. So it'd be 7.5 minus five for shop B which is 2.5. And it says, how do the IQRs different for them? The IQR of shop A is 0.5 or 50 cents higher. IQR of shop A is 50 cents higher. Okay, three says, what conclusion can be made about the price per ounce at the cereal shops based on the results of the survey? I would say that shop A is overall has a higher price because it is skewed to the left. We have more of the data on the right and then the median and the IQR was higher. So I would conclude that shop A has a higher price per ounce overall. Okay, let's look at our next set of samples. It says a survey is given to every third house in each of two adjacent subdivisions. The survey results about cat ownership are shown in the dot plots below. So here's subdivision A, it's pretty symmetrical. And here is subdivision B, B it looks like it is pretty skewed. So it says which of the following is true based on the data shown in the dot plots. A says the spread of the data distributions for subdivision A and subdivision B are equivalent. That is false. We already talked about how we have one that's symmetrical and one that's skewed. Then B says subdivision B is more cat friendly as compared to subdivision A. So if you look at subdivision B, there are more of them with more cats. Looks like subdivision A is pretty in the middle. So that could be true. Okay, let's look at C. It says the median of data distribution for subdivision A is one cat fewer than the median of the data distribution for subdivision B. So let's find the median of both of these. I'm gonna start with subdivision A. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna get three or between two and three, so 2.5 for my median here. And then let's look at this one. I'm gonna get three for my median here. So I got 2.5 and three, so it is not one whole cat fewer. 
And then D says the modes of subdivision A and subdivision B are the same. That is easy to see that that is not the same. The modes of A are two and three and of B it is zero. So the best answer here was B. Okay, let's look at this last one. It says a survey is given to every fourth customer at a concession stand in a hockey rink for January through May, asking whether customer, customers bought cookies or popcorn. The graph shows the results, which date statement best describes the data. So A says the total number of cookie and popcorn sales in January is 200%. So twice the total number of cookie and popcorn sales in May. So let's figure out the cookie and popcorn sales in January. It would be about 90 plus 150. And 90 plus 150 is 240. And then for May... It would be 20 plus 60, which is 80. So that's actually three times as much. It's not twice as much. It's 300 times as much. So that one's not true. B says the total number of cookie sales in March and April is equal to 60% of the number of popcorn sales in January. So let's look at cookie sales in March and April. March had 60 cookie sales and April had 30 cookie sales, which is 90. And then January had 150 popcorn sales. So let's do a percent proportion and see if that 90 out of 150 is equal to 60%. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both of those numbers by 30 and I get 3 out of 5 equals x out of 100. And then I'm going to cross multiply to solve and I get 300 equals 5x and then I divide by 5 and I get that 60 equals x. So that one would be true. The total number of cookie sales in March and April is equal to 60% of the number of popcorn sales in January.